Now that we've seen information on arrays and we have a, a good basic understanding of what arrays are, I wanted to take a moment and in this video show you exactly how it would work inside of jCreator in Java using the code. The first program that I'm going to write is setting up a basic array and then displaying the information that is inside of that array. So in order to do that, the first thing that I need to do is set up the data. And we're going to have the data type in. So I say int put my brackets and then I have my variable name. The variable name that I'm going to use for this, I could use anything but I'm going to use scores. After that I'm going to use the method in which I hard code values into the array. I'm not going to be using default values, I'm going to actually tell the array this is the information that I want inside of it. So I say put my curly braces, make sure that you're using braces and not brackets. I use my curly braces, I say one, comma, Two, comma three, comma four, comma five, comma six, comma seven, comma eight, comma nine, comma ten. And of course, I'm going to put my semicolon. In there. And if you remember from when we were talking about indices, the index value it does not start at one. So this first value right here would be zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. So now that I have my array set up, what I want to do is pull out the information inside of that array. And so the way that I would do that is simply say system dot out dot print. I'm going to use print because I want to print them horizontally, not vertically. And I'm going to say the name of the array, which is scores. So I'm going to say scores. And then I'm going to put my brackets and indicate which index I want to pull out. The first index that I want to pull out is the first index, which is not 1, it is 0. So I'm going to put a 0 inside of that bracket. Then I'm going to concatenate on just a little space. So as I print them, I'm going to have the information in the space, the information in the space. JCreator has a nice little feature, which we talked about before, which is control zero, which allows me to copy a line. So I'm going to copy the line and then I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll just take off that space on the end of this one. And then I just have this, I'm printing two spaces at the end for convenience. Let me compile my program, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, I get process complete. And I'm going to run my program. And you should probably be able to forecast or predict what's going to happen. This is going to print out the zeroth, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth index. And we get exactly that. The zeroth index has a one in it, the first index has a two, the second, three, four, five, six, seven. In the second program, what I want to show you is how to set up a default array and then pull information out of that. So I'm going to use the integer data type. So I say int, put my brackets, square brackets there. I'm going to again name my array scores. And this time, instead of hard coding the values, I'm going to say new, which allocates space for the array, and then int which is again is the data type, and I'm going to specify a length. I'm going to say my array length is 10. Just like I did in the previous program, I'm going to print out the values that are inside of it. So I say system.out.print, and then I'm going to say scores sub 0, and I concatenate on a space after that. Repeat that a few times. And change my values here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take off that extra space at the end there. And then what I want to do is change the values inside of the array. So I'm going to change the values inside of the array by saying scores sub zero. And I'm going to change that to 1, 
and then again I'm going to do control J a few times and I'm going to change this to 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to change this to 2, 3, 4, and 5. So what that's going to do is reach inside of the array, take out the default value, and put in a 1 in the first slot, a 2 in the second slot, a 3 in the third slot, a 4, so on and so forth. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the value. So I'm just going to copy what I did earlier. and print out what is now in index 0, what is now in index 1, what is now in index 2, what is now in index 3 and 4. So we'll do like that space at the end. So what we're going to get from this program is first I'm going to print out what the default values are going to be inside of this integer array. If you remember back from the videos, we should get a whole bunch of zeros next to one another. And then I change those values up to the fourth index to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we should be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down here when we print out the value. And we get exactly that. You can see the first portion of this, I print out the default values, I don't assign anything in there, and when I don't assign anything, I get zeros, and then after I assign values right here, I print out those values, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The final program that I want to show you inside of this video starts with an already created array, 1 through 10. I'm going to print out the values inside of there. And I'm going to show you two common errors with starting arrays. The first error, the first thing that I want to show you is how do I get the length? If you remember from previously, the way that we get the length of an array is set up an integer data type because the length of an array is always going to be an integer. And then give it some value. A logical name for that would of course be len. And I say len is equal to scores.length. And this, then len, I'm going to print it out what len is here, and that will give me the length of my array. So if I compile my program and run it right now, we can see that the length of the array is 10, which that's correct, there's 10 elements in there, and the values inside of there are 1 through 10. Now you can see that I start with 0 here, and I go all the way to 9. Common error inside of Java programming is to try to access that 10th slot. Even though the length is 10, the last index is 9. So if I try to access that, let's just see what happens when I run it. It says process complete, but then I get exception, array index out of bounds. And so what it's trying to do is pull memory from something beyond the array, because the last slot right there is 9 and I cannot, cannot pull the 10th index because it simply does not exist. And then one other common error that I want to show, and I indicated this in previous videos too, is what happens if I try to use parentheses at the end of length? This is string syntax. This is not array syntax. So when I compile the program, you see the compiler does not even let me get far enough because it says cannot find symbol variable length. And the problem is I've thrown parentheses on here. For arrays that does not work, you have to use the field length. And so you take off the parentheses. So what I wanted to accomplish in this video was to show you how to access information in an array, how to put information into an array, the two types of way to set up an array and show them all in Java.